sampling distributions. Now the idea behind sampling distributions is that the selection of a simple random sample can be thought of as an experiment. Now, an experiment in probability is different than an experiment in the sciences. An experiment in probability is any process that generates some outcomes. So the selection of a simple random sample can be thought of as an experiment because it's a process that generates these outcomes which are the elements that we choose for our sample. Now, if the selection of a simple random sample is an experiment, then the sample statistics that we compute from the sample, such as the sample mean, is going to be a random variable. This is because our definition of random variable is a numerical description of the outcome of an experiment. So our selection of a simple random sample is an experiment, and then our sample mean describes the outcome of the experiment numerically. It assigns a numerical value to the outcome of the experiment. So since our sample mean is a random variable, it has an expected value a standard deviation and a probability distribution, just like any random variable. Now, the probability distribution of our sample mean we refer to as a sampling distribution. So, a sampling distribution is simply the probability distribution of a sample statistic, such as the sample mean. So we use the term sampling distribution because this probability distribution arises from the process of sampling. Now let's take a look at an example Suppose we have a population of size 5 and the five elements in our population have values 2 8, 6, 10, and 4. And we want to take a sample of size 2. Now, one possible sample we can take from this population is 2 and 8. Another sample we can take from this population is 2 and 6, and so on. 2 and 10, 2 and 4, 8 and 6, 8 and 10, 8 and 4, 6 and 10, 6 and 4, and 10 and 4. 
So we have 10 possible samples of size 2 from this population of size 5. Now, from each of these samples, we can compute a sample mean. So the sample mean for the first sample will simply be 8 plus 2, which is equal to 10, divided by 2, which is equal to 5. The sample mean for the second sample will be equal to 6 plus 2, which is 8, divided by 2, which is equal to 4, and so on. So we have 10 different sample means corresponding to the 10 different samples. Now, if we select the sample so that it's a simple random sample, that means that each sample has the same probability of being selected. Now with 10 samples, that means the probability of each sample is going to be 1 over 10 or 0.1. So now let's create the probability distribution for the sample mean in this example. So let's create a table with two columns. In the first column, we'll have the different values of the sample mean. And in the second column, we'll have the corresponding probabilities, which we write f of x. Now, the different possible values for the sample mean are 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Now, the probability for each of these outcomes is not going to be the same because some of the values of the sample mean occur more than once. Specifically, 5 occurs twice, 6 occurs twice, and 7 occurs twice. The rest of the values occur only once. So for some of the values, the probability is going to be 1 over 10, or 0.1. For the values that occur twice, the probabilities are going to be 0.2. Now this is the probability distribution of the sample mean, which we refer to as the sampling distribution of the sample mean.